Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to take a quick look at how to create a local Windows account. Now, I already showed you guys in a previous video how to do this using the wizard stroke GUI. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that, just in case you haven't seen that video. So if you type in, click start and type in users, uh, go ahead and click on add, edit or remove other users. And you'll get this, this page load up and if you click on the plus symbol, uh, and follow the on-screen prompt. There's a way to create a local account this way. Um, it's okay, it works, there's nothing wrong with it, but it definitely tries to steer you very much in the direction of creating an online cloud-based account. Um, there's nothing wrong with that in the slightest, but I'm guessing you're watching this video because you don't want an online cloud-based account. For whatever reason, you wanna create a local account only. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, you have to bear in mind that that does mean that certain Windows settings, preferences, bookmarks, they won't get synced up to the cloud. So of course, if you remove that user or change PCs or format your your hard drive or delete the account, that kind of thing, you're gonna lose all of those preferences. But as I said before, I'm guessing you're watching this video because you accept that risk. So let me just show you an alternative way to do it. Um, this is a quicker way of doing it. I say quicker, it used to be a lot quicker, but Windows recently seems to, uh, appears to have updated this, uh, this XE, uh, and it doesn't work quite as nicely as it used to, but it's still a little bit quicker, so I figured it was worth sharing. So if we have a quick look at the XE, the XE is called netplwiz.xe. Okay, so this is what you're gonna wanna run. You can run it in a few different ways, so let's have a look. You can click on run. Obviously, you can also do Windows R paste it in, type it or paste it, click enter, it'll load up this window. Likewise, if you're a techie and you like to use the command the command prompt, and I can't think why, but hey, who knows, you can do the same thing, type it or paste it. You can right click actually, just in case you didn't know. If you've copied something to the clipboard and you've loaded the, uh, the command prompt, you can right click on your mouse, it will actually paste what you've got copied. Uh, you can also do control V, but I have personally found that doesn't always work. Anyway, again, if you hit enough, it loads up the uh, the window. Great. Another way of loading it. I probably don't need to show you all these different ways of loading it, but I like to give you as many options as possible. If you're like me and you can't remember things or names of things or names of X's very well, uh, I like to create shortcuts. So let's go ahead and create a shortcut. So new shortcut paste in uh, you know, the name of the XE, next. You can give it a name, I'm just gonna go with the name of the XE. Seems reasonable, right? Finish. And now you've got a shortcut, and you can't forget the name of the XE now. So that's what I would do, I'd create a shortcut. Certainly if you think you're gonna need this more often than, uh, than not, then I would create a shortcut if you need to use this regularly. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the name of the XE in the description below and likewise I'm gonna leave a, a link to my previous video where I showed you how to do it the, the slightly longer way in the, uh, the description below in case you want to watch that too because not everyone will be comfortable using these uh, Windows X's these sort of background tools so um, I'll leave that in the description below if you want to have a look okay so as you can see it loads up this window um, and what you want to do, you can see you can see the other users here that have access to the computer. All you need to do is you click on add. It really is that simple. Now, Windows have, have changed this. I, I'm not entirely sure why. Everything has to be like um, oversized with these oversized buttons and very much sort of like a sort of tablet friendly. Personally, I preferred how it used to be, but hey, it is what it is. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on sign in without a Microsoft account. It says not recommended. Well, not recommended who, by who exactly? What, Microsoft? I mean, anyway, so click on sign in without a Microsoft account and then just click on local account. Obviously, you had some information on the screen there that you can read. It'll probably tell you the differences between an online and an offline account. But I'm guessing you're watching this video because you want an offline account. So obviously, you know, give it a name. I'm just gonna call it test. Uh, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it test user. Uh, password, obviously, and a nice strong password. Not uh, 
short one like this this is just for testing obviously if you if you're creating passwords the best policy is to create a strong password as long as as long as possible and use a password manager uh, and for a hint this is just a test account so it really doesn't make any difference what i put in here but of course you might want to put in a cryptic hint now don't make it too obvious otherwise someone will guess your password okay click on next and look that is it finished that is how quick you can create a local account slightly quicker it used to be even quicker before microsoft kind of babyfied the whole thing um but you know it's still a quick way of creating a local account um, and obviously if you want to remove it you can go ahead and click remove likewise if you click on properties you can actually change it to an administrator account so click on group membership you can actually click administrator apply okay and now you have an administrator account so um you know hopefully you found that useful um you can go ahead and remove it likewise if i was to log off of this account i'm using the account ben if i was to log off that account i could literally now log on to test user obviously using the password that um, i gave i'll tell you what just for complete this let's remove that account as well i'm going to click on remove obviously it's just going to tell me that if i uh, remove the account the files will be deleted and you no longer be able to log on to the pc with this user account that's all fine by me so click on yes and there you go it's gone it's disappeared um yeah and that probably wraps it up for this video so i hope you found the video useful if you did go ahead and click that like button for the youtube algorithm likewise if you want to see content like this in the future perhaps consider subscribing it'll help me out and hopefully i can help you out and until next time take care everybody